Good day. My name is Alan Palmer. This is a video for the demonic Freemason haters of Justice Blood. Today, we are going to dive a little deeper into the death of Kobe Bryant and see what we can come up with and how we can tie the present to the past and see if we can make a change for the future. But before we get any further into this video, there are some things I would like you to consider before we go any further. First thing is that no one can enforce an unlawful contract. An unlawful contract is any contract that binds an individual to perform something that is impossible. Or any contract that binds an individual to perform something, any act that is illegal or unlawful. Another thing that is no one no one can authorize anyone to take their life whether in oral contract or in a written contract in other words no one could make an arrangement with anyone else to to have them killed um we see the case of jack javakin the the doctor who aided a few people in what is called mercy killing or assisted suicide jack javakin had to pay the price for his participation assisted suicide of those people who were terminally ill and who experienced severe pain the only means to get rid of the pain was death and he had to pay for his role in the assisted suicide of several people another thing that we must remember is that evil is real and at times the spiritual realms are given permission to interact with the physical realms. Another thing we must also consider is that the Most High, the Almighty Creator, have limited the interaction that the evil spiritual realms has with the physical or the human world. It must also be known that is human agent that is responsible for carrying out the evil deeds and actions of the Baphomet and those who lead those evil spiritual worlds. A man can become fully demon-possessed only when he commits the unpardonable sin, when he grieves the Holy Spirit. And I'll go into this a little more. You, we have often seen on television after some gruesome murder, the neighbor will come out and says, um, Oh, John, John was such a nice and kind man. I can't believe he had it in him to do that. Most people think that demon possession means that you are deformed or grunting or mourning. But in this case, when you have grieved the Holy Spirit and you are demon possession, it means that the demons, the demon world take over all of your will. You are allowed to live normal lives, but when you are called upon to act in the most gruesome of way, you cannot resist it. You are compelled to do as you are instructed. And this only happens because you become an enemy of the Most High. The Most High with Jah is Holy Spirit from you, is protective angels from you, and now you are at the mercy of the demonic worlds. From the beginning of modern history, the enemies of people have did all in their power to suppress, oppress, and kill the black man this all started with the enslavement of the black man for over 400 years when slavery was abolished in 1864 or thereabouts the enemies of black people institute in the united states was called a jim crow law and this law was spread across the world with different names in south africa they call it the apartheid system in the united states they were called the jim crow law and under the jim crow system Strong black men, strong black families, and strong black communities were always destroyed. The enemies of the black man took pleasure and pride in destroying the strong black man, strong black families, and strong black communities. We had places like in New York City, where Central Park is currently is. That was a black community. Um, the powers that be acquired that land through eminent domain 
displace all of the black families that occupy that prime property to put that park. In Santa Monica, in California, where they have the civic center, the police department, and so forth. It was a black community, a striving black community. But the powers that be acquired that land by eminent domain again, displaced all of the black families. And we don't have to talk about Tulsa, Greenwood, Oklahoma, where the powers that be, the enemies of black people, bomb Tulsa, Greenwood, Oklahoma, leaving the most thriving community in the United States into rubble. The KKK was born. The KKK, a hate group that was made up of predominantly white men who hated black people so much that they came together and formed an organization. And the objective of this organization was to destroy strong black men and show strong black families did not develop and to ensure that black community remain in poverty. This was the main purpose of the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan made up of judges, police officers, lawyers, doctors. Every sector of the white community were represented in the Ku Klux Klan. In the day, they carry out lawful trade, interacting with everyone, even the black community, as brothers and friends. But in the night, they gung their robes, and their hoodies and they went out and they murder black men destroy black families and destroy black businesses we must never forget that all of the members of the Ku Klux Klan are devil worshippers and anytime they lynch a black person it is a sacrifice they are offering to their father the devil let me repeat that all of the members of the Ku Klux Klan were devil worshippers and the lynching of a black man was a sacrifice to the devil. After international pressures caused the American government to abolish the Jim Crow laws and to strive towards integration, the, the haters of black people, members of the Ku Klux Klan had to adjust the way they deal with the black community. Instead of going about and lynching a black man, and destroying their homes, they had to find a new way of doing this. Now, what is that doing is that using talented, extremely talented black men and women. They deceived them into signing contract. Contract which allowed them to make sacrifice of themselves to Lucifer. These are unlawful contract. They could only be enforced through unlawful means. And what have been happening is that we see over the years, sometimes by deception and sometimes over this, out of desperation, these people sign these contracts that put their life at stake. And at times, they are given an opt out of their contract by offering as a sacrifice to the Baphomet, to Lucifer, a close family member, a close friend. They would have to put the things in place to ensure that this sacrifice take place. In other words, they are now dirty in their hands with the murder of a friend or a family member to have it look like an accident. Once you participate in anything like this, you are now caught for life. These people, the agent of the demon worlds, now holds those murder over your head and you can never get away from them. Anything they ask you to do, you are obligated to do or suffer the consequence at the hands of the law for the crime that you have committed. Suffer the consequences at the hands of your family for the brutal crime that you have committed against your family. Now we have to ask, why did Kobe's father, Joe Bryan, pack up his family, leave a, 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 a striving basketball career and go to Italy? That is gold Puts it on the floor, gets inside of Spencer. Hey, oh, comes over the top of Kareem and rattles the building. Jelly Bean made like Daryl Dockett. Now it's here it is. Ryan arms the building shaker. Look at this. Way up there. He slams it down. Look at his body all right. Ryan puts it on the floor. Joe Bryan managed to escape offering a sacrifice 
to the Baphomet because he lived he leave them with their game, he leave them with their money, he leave them with their fame, and he left everything that he know and love and he moved to Italy. At Kobe Bryant's retirement, Kobe Bryant was not as good as he used to be, but he was still one of the best in the league. So what move of uh, sport Kobe to suddenly decide to retire from the game of basketball? It is because Kobe he started Bryant getting the premonition of, of the death time. of his he daughter, did not back down from Gianna When Bryant. playing against other superstars, he only Kobe to his the game. realization that he has to spend more time with his family and he has to be there to protect his daughter, Gianna Bryan. In, the, in case anything was supposed to happen to her, he would not be able to forgive himself if he was not there to protect her and keep her safe. That is why he spends so much time with that particular daughter because the underworld wanted her as a sacrifice. But Kobe, like his dad, was not willing to give up any of his children or his wife as a sacrifice. Kobe falling out with his parents was not by accident. It was by design. What happened? In around that time, Kobe started getting premonitions of his parents' death. So in order to keep his parents safe, he had to distance himself from his parents so that those people in the underworld who wanted to take something of value from Kobe Bryant no longer had any interest in his parents. That is why he speaks about his parents in that way. Um, for something, it's not that Kobe value his memorabilia over giving his parents a house, but he had to find something. He had to find something to distance himself, to create a barrier between his mother and his father and himself in order to keep Mama and Papa Mamba safe. Some people call Kobe's death a sacrifice. It is not a sacrifice, it's a murder. Because no one, no one have the right to take the life of anyone, regardless of any deal they were tricked into or any deal they volunteered to. No one has the right to kill anyone, regardless of what deal they made is death is a murder if you check the link below you'll see the video that i did outlining what happened in that fateful flight one thing i can say about the crash is that kobe Bryant was not afraid when the helicopter was going down because he feels that he was able to make it out of this crash alive and gianna Bryant was not afraid because she was with her hero her superhero her dad in her eyes there's nothing that her dad could not have saved her from so they were not afraid and they did not suffer because it was just bam the life was taken by the creator and it was over there was no suffering if you notice the power that be the investigators that are invest that are investigating this matter have changed the story on several occasions and the changing of the story is to facilitate a non-investigation of those people who are responsible of taking this young man and the eight other people life that went down in that two echo extra helicopter flight because the powers that be are the same powers who are responsible for organizing these murders on behalf of the underworld so kobe bryan's death and his daughter death is just groups like the ku klux klan finding new ways of offering sacrifice to their god, the Baphomet, the leader of the underworld, Lucifer, who they all worship. Tragic death that sends the entire black community into mourning. Deaths like Michael Jackson's death, a sacrifice. Prince's death was a sacrifice. Whitney Houston's death, a sacrifice. Jimi Hendrix's death, a sacrifice. Tupac's death, a sacrifice. Biggie Small's death. A sacrifice. Tammy Terrell's death is sacrifice. Lisa Lefty Lopez's death is sacrifice. Kobe Bryant was not willing to sacrifice any member of his family. And like Prince, 
who have never had a tragedy in his family because he never sacrificed anyone. Michael Jackson, who never had a tragedy in his family because he did not sacrifice anyone. Whitney Houston, who never had a tragedy in her family because she did not sacrifice anyone. Anytime you refuse to offer a sacrifice of someone in your stead, then you are forced to die in suspicious, gruesome, or some other questionable manner that is not natural. So, let us hope that the powers that be, because they know who is responsible for the death of Kobe Bryant. They know who is responsible. They know how that helicopter went down. They know why the helicopter went down. And they know who is behind it and the, the main players. But they will not bring them to justice because it is their desire to destroy every strong black man's character or life and plunge the entire black community into mourning. This is the sacrifice. This is how they feel good about themselves. My name is Alan Palmer, and this has been a demonic Freemason hater for just haters of justice blood. I am out. Southern trees bear a strange fruit. Blood on the leaves and blood at the root. Black bodies swinging in the southern breeze.